بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ایسٹ اکاؤنٹنگ از اے میجر فنکشن آف ایس اے پی جنرل لیجر فکسڈ ایسٹس آر یوز ٹو ہیلپ ان رننگ اے بزنس ایگزامپلز آف فکس ایسٹس آر بلڈنگس ریئل اسٹیٹس وہیکلس فرنیچر اور ایون گڈ ویل لیٹس ہیو اے لک ایٹ ایسٹ اکاؤنٹنگ پروسیس ان ایس اے پی سو The asset accounting starts by acquiring an asset. Fixed assets acquire from externally as a purchase from a vendor or internally by construction. Next, master data is important before we start any transaction in SAP. In this step, asset is used to classify it according to its class. Examples of classes are buildings, computer software, furniture, etc. Asset classes are very important because the class determine the general ledger of an asset where the transaction has to post. Next, asset can be transferred from one company code to another company code. Next step is depreciation of the asset. The cost of using an asset, for example, the wear and tear is called depreciation. Depreciation is accounted at the end of each accounting period. Each type of asset depreciates differently according to its nature. In SAP, all of this information kept in the chart of depreciation. Assets can be automatically depreciated after each accounting period interval or it can be done manually. The final step is the retirement of the asset which is removal of an asset from assets portfolio. Asset can be depreciated after its useful life and it also can be scrapped without getting any income from it. Also, it can be sold to earn revenue. The value of the asset from date of acquisition to the final retirement will be updated in SAP. The major purpose of the asset accounting is to see the exact values of the fixed asset at particular time by getting used for reporting at any time from the SAP system. The reporting format of SAP is very robust and you can get all types of reports from SAP system at any time. Let's create a fixed asset in SAP. Enter transaction code AS01 and press enter. We are on create asset initial screen. From this screen, the first field where we need to enter the information is the asset class field. We will click on the magical button and see the available classes of assets. Click start. Our result shows 15 different classes of assets in this company code. Classes starting from real estate, buildings to goodwill and other intangible assets. We want to record a master data for a new car so we will double click on vehicles. As we are working in company code 1710 so the system auto populated here. Next field is number of similar asset. It is useful if you are creating more than one record at a time. Suppose if we purchase 10 cars then we can put here number 10 to create similar records. We will only create one master record and we will leave this field as it is. Next is the reference area which is used when you are going to create a similar asset which is already exist in your system. By adding the asset reference number certain information will auto populate in this screen. We are not going to create a reference asset, so only we will click the below master data button. In the description field, we enter the description of this asset like 2019 Mercedes Sprinter. The account determination field is auto populated with the number of 160040. Vehicles. This information comes as per our choice from a previous screen. Next, the serial number field is optional. We can add the plate number here. The inventory number field is also optional to use for internal inventory purpose. Now, we will click on time dependent tab. The only required field in this screen is cost center. This field determines that where this asset adds to cost and indirectly adds to the profit of the company. Let's click on the magical button here to see that where we can apply this asset cost. Now press start search button. 
let's assume this vehicle will use to serve the marketing department. So we double click on the marketing code to choose the cost center. Next, we are going to click on origin tab. So this area has all the information about asset. Where we acquired this asset from, if we buy this asset from existing vendor in our system, so we search it from vendor field. The manufacturer field, we will write here the name of the vehicle, which is Mercedes. Also, we will click on the checkbox that the asset purchased as new. Next, we click on depreciation areas tab. The values in this depreciation table automatically updated by our master data settings from the asset class from where we choose earlier the class vehicles. Each depreciation area is used to calculate a type of depreciation. Two examples are financial depreciation or depreciation for tax purpose. The depreciation area shows the value of asset for specific needs. The values will be different for each depreciation area. Looking at the first depreciation area which marked as 01 for book depreciation, which is the amount of depreciation expense calculated for our company financial statement. In D key, depreciation key column, we have YSL1, which is used to calculate automatically depreciation. Next column is useful life, which is five years. Vehicle will depreciate over five years. Finally, to create this asset master record, we will click below to the save button on the status bar. We again on the create assets initial screen and the taskbar we have success message that asset has been successfully created. Let's look at an asset acquisition with a purchase from a vendor. We enter here a transaction code of F-90 and press enter. We are on the asset acquisition from purchase from vendor header data screen. In document date field, we enter 17-12-2018. We enter the same date in posting date field. The type field is default to KR, which is code of vendor invoice as we purchase this asset from a vendor. The company code is 7010 and the currency is US dollar. These fields are defaulted from the beginning. Now the reference field is required. We will enter here the invoice number which is double eight. Now we will scroll down to the first line item in the post key. We have default 31 here which is the posting key for the invoice. In the account field, we will enter the vendor number which is 173-00002. If you don't have vendor number, then you can search by using the magical button here. Then we will press enter to import our information. Now we are on vendor item screen. In the amount field, we will put the price of the asset which we have paid, which is 66,000. Next, click on checkbox to calculate the tax. So the system will automatically calculate the tax on this item. The payment terms field auto populated according to this vendor master data. Next on the post key field we press the magical button and look at the available posting keys. As we are paying for an asset so we will make debit to this asset. We will select the code 70 by double click which is debit asset. Now in the account field we need to enter the asset number which we want to debit. Let's click on the magical button and search for the Mercedes Sprinter. Now we will double click on the code of 2019 Mercedes Sprinter. In transaction type field we will check the type of transaction by pressing the magical button. The first item is external asset acquisition. We will double click on it and again we will press enter. This time we are on add asset item details screen. Let's look at the first the amount field where we add the assets purchase amount which is 66,000 US dollar. Next we need to enter the tax code by pressing the magical button from here we choose Accounts payable sales tax distributed to the line item. Now 
in the text jurisdiction field press the magical button then click on continue and we will choose here California now we are ready to post this invoice by pressing the button below on the status bar and we got a success message that document has been posted successfully unplanned depreciation happens when something unexpected happens to fix the value of that asset in our example we assume that one of our vehicle got an accident and let's post an unplanned depreciation so we need to enter the transaction code here a b double a and press enter we got a general header data for posting screen in company code field we enter 1710 we enter in the asset field our vehicle number which is 5000002 in transaction type field we are going to click on a magical button as we need to make an unplanned depreciation for the current year asset so we double click on code 650 now we will click on continue and now in the area selection we have accounting principal and depreciation area fields by leaving these fields blank we apply this unplanned depreciation to all of our accounting principles and for depreciation areas which we have set up for this asset for document date posting date and asset value date we will enter the date when this accident occurred next is the amount posted field which is value of depreciation that how much we need to depreciate this asset so we enter 10000 us dollar here now in the next text field we can add any information about this unplanned depreciation so we enter vehicle accident loss of value to add more information you can click on note tab this is all what required just press the post button below now it's pop up with the two messages the green light shows that we have successfully posted unplanned depreciation under the both principles of accounting and depreciation areas for this asset now we are going to see the retirement of an asset how to retire an asset by making it scrap in sap to do this we will enter here the transaction code a b a v n and press enter we are working in company code 1710 which is auto populated here we need to enter in the asset number which is 600003 in area selection fields we need to retire an asset from all accounting principles and depreciation areas so we will leave these fields blank in the basic data area we need to enter document date posting date and asset date we will enter asset scrapping date which is 12 january 2018 on each of these fields and after that we will press enter now you can see the asset which is retiring is here you can see on the top macbook now we click on note tab to give the reason of making scrap this macbook we will write hardware issue machine cannot be fixed we are ready to post this by clicking on the post button below now if you see it pops up with two messages the green light shows that we have successfully scrap an asset under the both principles of accounting and depreciation area for this asset sap has many reports for asset accounting one extremely important report which gives a quick insight is called the asset explorer let's look at this report by entering here transaction code aw01n and press enter the first field is auto populated which is company code next field is asset where we need to put asset number which is 500001 and, and then we need to press after that enter the information populated on the left hand side the top area of the screen has a menu tree of this asset depreciation area in our example 
we have four different depreciation areas and by clicking on each of depreciation area we get the depreciation value populated as you see that 01 book depreciation area is selected so when we look at the planned and posted values we will talk about this selected area at the bottom left object related to asset menu tree in our example it contains the vendor from who we purchase this asset the asset cost center general ledger account of this asset and profit center of this asset so when we double click on each of them it gives us detailed information about that object so now the planned value book depreciation we see APC transaction which is acquisition production cost the APC and acquisition value is 29,000 and ordinary depreciation is 4,834 US dollar our net book value is acquisition cost minus the ordinary depreciation value which is 21,166 now let's scroll down to the transaction area in this area we can that there is only one transaction for this asset as it is an external acquired asset and its value is 29,000 now let's click on posted value tab this tab shows us the actual posted values of the asset in our example our posted values tab are matched with our planned values tab we know that depreciation is according to the schedule here APC and acquisition value are 29,000 ordinary depreciation is 4,834 so again our net book value is 24,166 US dollar now we scroll down to the depreciation posted slash planned area in this area you can see the each line item shows the posting periods and the depreciation value of during that period at the bottom we can see the total ordinary depreciation again which is 4834 US dollar now we will go to the comparison tab which shows us the depreciation from 2018 to 2023 we can see the over of next four years this asset follows the straight line depreciation method in each year charge 5800 if I want to compare the depreciation area I can click on the 32 button which is the depreciation area of international accounting standards we can see that our ordinary depreciation is each of the year follows different schedule in different depreciation areas now we are going to click on parameters tab this shows the specific parameters of this depreciation area looking at the life area the asset has useful life five years in start of calculation area you can see the depreciation start date of this asset is March 1 2018 this is only one of the asset accounting report available to see the many of other reports we will head back to the SAP easy access screen we will click on exit and now we will use the menu tray here first we will expand here the folder of accounting then financial accounting next we expand fixed assets then information system then expand reports and asset accounting we have 12 different folders here with each having different reports for example we expand asset balances then asset lists then asset again balances as you can see we can get reports for asset balances from each of these criteria these reports are very useful and very robust according to your desire thank you very much for watching this video please subscribe our channel